Well, King Charles released a pre-recorded audio only message for Easter today. Pre-recorded audio, you say? They sure are giving us a lot of reasons to suspect them lately, are they not? Here is an image we got of the king releasing this message. So he's in front of a voice recorder. He's smiling. We have a still image. We have audio. We have this transcript. So we totally believe it, right? Here's a transcript of the king's message. This was for uh, what's called Maundy Thursday. Here is the king's message being broadcast in the church where he would have otherwise attended. Uh, and it's being broadcast to church and churchgoers. Who be chosen today to receive the morning money from my wife are wonderful examples of such kindness, of going way beyond the call of duty, and of giving so much of their lives to the service of others in their communities. This act of worship here in Worcester Cathedral reminds me of the pledge I made at the beginning of the coronation service, to follow Christ's example, not to be served, but to serve. Okay. That I have always tried to Wow, do. so it's so like the 1930s. Like Exactly yeah, right. It's, it's like, like the, World War the II. king on the radio. Like we're going to get, hey, we're all gathering around the wireless tonight, and we're going to sit and listen to the king's message tonight. Right. I was, I was just going to say, I've seen, I've seen this movie. <laughs> right. I've seen yeah. this movie. And, and it's, <laughs> yeah. the, the reason you don't see him is because he has a speech impediment, right? Oh. Right. right. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. While Hitler's yeah, forces are moving across the eastern flank, we want to hear from the king tonight. Let's gather around the wireless and let's listen to the king. That's exactly what this is, the king's speech. Yeah. David, were you going to say something? Oh, I, I just said I saw this King's Speech and it was actually a really good movie. But right. Me of too. But it does feel like a movie where we're being asked to buy into some kind of ruse, doesn't it? So we've been now following the inconsistencies around Princess Kate and whether or not they're lying about her whereabouts. There are various images that we've been given of her in the last few weeks that do nothing to make us feel better about the truth. So here are the three images we've had of the princess in the last three weeks. The one on the bottom in the car, we were told, was her first appearance post-surgery. The one on the bottom right, it was supposedly her at a farm shop walking next to William. And then the one in the center was from a video that the BBC edited and filmed of her announcing that she has been dealing with cancer. Now, the image from the BBC doesn't really help with credibility because the BBC reportedly shot this, but they're being cagey about how, why we can't even know the people who were involved in it based on freedom of information requests, and they refused to answer questions on who worked on that video announcement. So now the BBC is giving us this pre-recorded King's message and an image. It just feels like in the year 2024, when we're used to having video footage of everything, we really are getting strange information and disparate images out of the palace. So now we're being asked to believe that the king is too sick to appear at this important religious service, but he is okay because we have this audio recording and the palace says he's determined to attend Easter church on Sunday. Here is last year, Maundy Thursday, where the king and queen both showed up. They give out coins to the poor. That's sort of the tradition. And then this year, king Queen Camilla had to go it alone. Here is images we have of her this morning. Now, royal correspondent Michael Cole was on GB News today. He said the king is under great strain and that this image shows us that he's really not in good shape. A photograph has been officially give, uh, issued of the king at his desk. And I'm, I'm, ashamed, I'm afraid there it is. Uh, he's not obviously not fuller in the face. The, the effect of the chemotherapy, I think, is there. Um, his lips look thinner, and obviously it's a great strain for anybody, uh, but while you're bearing the burdens of being head of state at the same time as you're being treated, I'm sure it isn't easy for him. Uh, it's a very great shame for me to see him. I was five years old when he was born. I've watched him and reported on him throughout his life, and I'm very sad to see him in this, uh, in this way. But um, Queen Camilla will be there today and she will be doing the honors and distributing to worthy local people these lovely little purses containing uh, the silver coins.
Mm. We're not going to see the King today, but we are hoping to see him on Sunday, aren't we, Michael, uh, in Windsor yep. on Easter Sunday? And that will be very heartening for people who are, who are concerned and worried about His Majesty. Yes, I think that's right. He's determined to be there as best he can uh, with as many members of his uh, family as possible in attendance. All right, as many as possible. So now we're taking bets on who we'll actually get to see. They could totally bring it. They could totally blow us all up with this. And there's, there's the king. And there's, there's Kate. There's Kate. There's everyone's there. Everyone's happy and no more. No more. I mean, of this. I will feel a whole lot better if I see William's children who have been missing yeah. in all of this. Right. Never visited in the hospital. We have not seen images of them yet. Uh, they, they say the king is really determined to make it on Easter Sunday. So will we actually see the king in a convincing way? Um, but the palace is question. Yeah. Are, th are thin lips, he says his lips look thinner, like is that an indication of unhealth, like not being healthy? I've never well, heard that before. A lot of people who have chemotherapy, they need to like have popsicles or ice, ice because they get really dry and chapped in the mouth and painful mm -hmm. mouth sores. So that is an indication of somebody going through chemotherapy. Okay. Yeah. I just um, thought that was an odd. <laughs> Right. And we haven't seen the king much since about two weeks ago when the Daily Mail reported that he was seen leaving Windsor Castle. They said that Russia had started rumors about the king's disappearance and also about Kate Middleton. But we got this image of him leaving in a car. Now, we reported this last week that Russia really had nothing to do with this and the reporting that was saying that possibly he was dead when on St. Patrick's Day it was trending that the king had died. That was not started by Russia. That came out of a Pakistani outlet based on a TikTok video run by two American ladies. So here are those ladies. It had nothing to do with Russia or misinformation. Uh, well, it wasn't. Well, I don't know now. I don't want to say it was not misinformation. We literally don't know. Right. We can't say. And when we are told that it is foreign interference, why would Russia care? I don't know. Right. We're, and now the press in Britain is saying that, oh, it's not just Russia. It's also Iran and China. They're all working together to spread lies about the king and Kate Middleton and that Elon Musk should shut that down. Here's a report from Good Morning Britain. They offer no proof. They just say, we think this is probably happening. So if you're worried about the king and the princess, that's foreign psyop. Don't do that. Don't and, worry about them. And here is them. Like, look, look how little proof they have in this report. It's shocking. Being suggested. He doesn't say by who. He has no proof at all. That's like no report at all. He just said, we're suggesting it. He has no proof of that. Well, he and say, he's. He did ahead. say in the past this has happened. So, I mean, that obviously, if something has happened in the past, it must be true right now. Correct? I, I mean, but what? I what mean, is the, he referring to? That yeah. Iran well, cares I mean, about a princess disappearing, right? Yeah, I, it's just you know. He doesn't that, have to that offer was his, that any was initial evidence. Yeah. yeah, that was his initial evidence. Was well, in the past we've seen this. Like, okay, great. What about right now? What about right now? Right, and uh, if you watch this whole report, he never. He, they have on experts that say, yeah, other countries they do this sometimes, and it rises in social media, and Elon Musk should do something about it because well, social media. That's the report. He did, he did throw in the yeah. He did throw in the lots of people believe, and that right there is about as much evidence as they have. There lots we of go. People believe, you know, like the the ad populi. Yeah, it's a load of bollocks. Uh, so all of this behavior is cagey, does not help the monarchy at all, uh, and definitely not their perception. Here is Camilla arriving at church today to chants of protesters chanting "Down with the crown." It's hard to hear what they're saying, so, but what they are saying is down with the crown, down with the crown, um, because she is having to stand in for the king, probably. I mean, that's not the only reason. They always get chants like that of people who think the British monarchy does not well represent them and is not a good use of taxpayer dollars. So, again, we're taking bets on whether or not we'll see the king this Easter weekend, which members of the royal family. And again, maybe everything they're saying is true and they're just saying it in a terrible way that makes us suspicious. Uh, maybe the conspiracy theories are unfounded or maybe the royals are just weird and bad at telling the truth. But tell us what you think.
I really hoped you enjoyed watching this video. You know, YouTube thinks that you'll actually like this next video right here. It's personalized based on your own viewing habits. So if you watch the video, please leave a comment. Let us know what you think about it. And we will see you next time, everyone.